Hello everybody and welcome to a sort of special channel update video. I've done some self-reflecting and some real thinking about some changes that I want to make and I think it'd be a great time to discuss everything with y'all. You know, I just hit 4,000 subscribers a couple days ago and I am really thankful and honored. I mean, the fact that 4,000 people have liked the content that I've been doing uh, over the last couple years enough to click the subscribe button uh, means a lot to me. And and I, you know, I see you and I know you are and I really, really do appreciate it. That being said, I'm aware of what is going great on the channel and what maybe isn't going so well. You know, I've been doing some branching out and doing some series that maybe are a little bit different for what has been the way over the last couple of years. And some is not going as much and maybe pulling even the other stuff down a little bit. So I think it's probably a great time to make a couple changes. I was watching a Python video kind of on the same thing. And though, you know, we're at quite different levels as far as YouTube growth, he had some really good and interesting points about putting your best foot forward. And I, I think maybe that's something that would be really good for me to do going forward on this channel and, and just really sort of refocusing and being a little bit more minimalist on what we're doing. So, you know, I really hate ending series, especially ending them prematurely. I feel like I ended Stoneblock, the modded series, uh, before it was due, and um, a couple other sort of special map series before they were really finished. And unfortunately, I think we're kind of to that point again. Um, I need to focus what I'm good at though and what, what I think I'm good at and what I think maybe a lot of people have come to this channel expecting isn't necessarily a, a crazy wild fun uh, hilarious time it's more hanging out with a fellow friend and I lo really look at you all as my YouTube friends it's what I call you but I don't call you that um, because I don't have a better name I actually think of you that way especially in this time of COVID and staying home in quarantine where I don't really talk to a lot of my real life friends hardly ever I talk to you guys just about every day and it really means so much that you're in my life. So what am I good at? I think if I were to guess what I think people would say, I'd, I'd guess world building, lore, storyline, and just kind of general let's play content, you know, not as much, not as much with the, the group collabs and all that kind of stuff. That's just never been a real strength of mine. And I don't believe that a lot of people came here to this channel for that uh, in particular. You know, I, I love I love playing modded Minecraft so, so, so much. It's so much fun, and I've been waiting for a new computer for the longest time to actually play it. And unfortunately, it is it is really doing terrible on the channel. And I, I understand. I get it. It's fine. But um, I think that it doesn't really make sense to keep rolling those episodes out. I might just play for fun off camera or even stream it or something like that. But I think as far as um, uh, playing it on episodes, I think... Sadly, I think we're going to have to end the the modded uh, Feed the Beast University series from a YouTube standpoint. And maybe that'll happen uh, in some of the upcoming live streams and things. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, I did try a new series. I put out a feeler episode one to see how it did uh, a couple days ago. Skyblock and RTX Skyblock. And uh, let's just say not so well. So, you know, it was a feeler. I didn't record a ton of episodes. I wanted to sort of see how that episode one did. Uh, it clearly... Um, you guys, my YouTube friends, you guys have spoken, uh, not so much. And that's totally cool. I am not upset about that at all. That's why I did a test run of it to see how it was. Uh, so unfortunately, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to continue with that series. It just, with the refocused and trying to go kind of minimalist on the channel, it just kind of doesn't make sense for me to run a series that not that many people are into and that takes grind time away from stuff that people are into, right? So what's that leave? That leaves what's currently going on in the Minecraft channel. Bedrock, my single player world, Bedrock Survival. Uh, it leaves Vastin, my multiplayer SMP, and it, re and it leaves the time lapses. They're all performing roughly the same. There's no real winner out there. You know, some are up, some are down, but they're all roughly about the same. I, I would imagine that essentially the same people watch all those episodes for the most part. So I would like to focus this channel on one thing primarily. I think when I have seen much of my growth in the past, it has been due to focusing really truly on one thing and and not having a bunch of different uh, pots in the fire, right? So is it pots in the fire? No, it's buns in the fire, right? I didn't have a bunch of buns in the fire. So what I want to do is I want you to be able to click on my channel 
and you're going to know basically what to expect. Now, I don't want to focus only on one thing because I have commitments. And one of my commitments is um, is Vastin, and I'm not going to I'm not going to bail on that commitment. So I am going to. I'm going to continue that roughly the way it has been continuing right now, which is about once a week, maybe once every 10 days or so. Those episodes do take a lot of grind because they're all done exclusively time-lapsed with voiceovers. I'm going to continue that exactly as is. I hope you're enjoying it. I'm enjoying it, and I think it's a nice change-up for the channel. And also, I think adding some replay mod stuff to the channel is really good. Uh, the time lapses are going great, but I think I'm going to take a break from them. And when I just have a really great idea for one, then it'll just pop back up, right? So that world will just continue. That one's not ending like the modded series is ending, but that's just going to go on a bit of a hiatus until I just come up with something. Oh, I want to build that thing. And then I'll just, I'll just build it. The cool thing about time lapses is, is since it's creative, there's no prep time. You just log on. And if I have an hour or two, I just start building and it's really nice. It's, it's, it's really great. So the focus is going to be primarily on my single player world. It's going to be, um, uh, we're going to do the same exact thing that we've been doing up until episode 200. So it'll be Bedrock Survival with Fix up until 200. Um, in episode 200, we'll do a world tour with maybe a special guest friend uh, without RTX. Okay, so that way you can see it there. My my new my new texture pack is going to be is going to work for both RTX and not, so that'll be a great thing if you want to download the world and check it out yourself. So episode 200, we're going to do a a world download, and then we're going to rebrand the series and relaunch it, starting at brand new kingdom in a not very far away, kind of across the ocean from my current kingdom. All basically all new stuff. We're going to start we'll start from scratch basically in the new kingdom, and I'll explain a lot more of that on episode one of RTX Survival with fix so that'll be the new series after episode 200 same world again but um but starting in a different place and that will be rtx exclusive so if you like the rtx i think that you'll have a really great time hanging out there uh i'm going to make a few changes to that series there's going to be a much 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 more lore focus now i know we've been talking about the lore there is a rich lore history to my world tovlin but we're going to go all in on the lore meaning i'm going to do basically books every episode where we're, we're writing lore books, kind of like Elder Scrolls Skyrim, uh, where there's books all over that just detail the rich history of the world that we have. We have a 9,500 year history, and we can fill in all that gap just with books from historians. It's really cool. We have written into the lore something called the Council of Events, which is basically a generational historians council. So people, and then their kids, and then their kids, and then their kids, make it their life's duty to document the events of the world of Tovlin and leave it in books all over the world. And that's sort of their idea. So we have written into the lore of our world a really great chance to actually write more lore. So it should be really great. Here's a big announcement, something that maybe maybe some of you folks are going to get excited about, I hope. Um, we're going to do many, many more live streams. Uh, late night, uh, generally, it'll be probably after 9, 9 or 9.30 at night and they will be on twitch i have made the decision to officially switch over since i believe after talking to my wife and really looking at things as long as i'm continuing to be unemployed due to covid um that it's a good time it's a good time that we're gonna we're gonna start going over to twitch and doing a bunch of live streams primarily probably from the bedrock world although occasionally probably from baston as well um i and here's the other big change because of that because of adding those i won't be doing daily videos anymore you know the the survival videos they take a lot longer and i was using the time lapse and the modded stuff which generally doesn't take very long to sort of alternate and buy me a day extra of grind for a survival series so since those videos are going to be gone in their place there will be some days there will be just nothing so it won't be monday through friday videos anymore it'll just be whenever they're ready they're ready so I can't tell you what how much that's going to be. I, I'm I'm sure it'll be at least three a week, but it'll be whenever they're ready. I don't really have much more information than that. We're just going to see how this new sort of singular focus on the channel does, right? Now, I do have two other channels that I want to mention during this giant channel update that we're doing right now. I have something called Fix It 412 Off The Record. I don't know if you know about it, but I'm playing Elder Scrolls over there, and that's every other day we're doing a blind uh, playthrough of Elder Scrolls. I've never played the game, and it is fantastic. So if you're not subscribed to Fix It Off The Record, go down in the description and click that. And then the alternating days with Elder Scrolls Skyrim, I'm doing Red Dead Redemption 2. Same thing. I've never played the game, never watched it. Totally blind. Checking it out. It's a lot of fun. And, you know, those games, uh, for one thing, they're in real time, which I really, really enjoy. 
I enjoy just hitting record and playing for half an hour and then and then being done. I think that's a lot of fun and it's a great refresher. Like I feel more refreshed about playing Minecraft than I have in a while since I believe that I'm playing sort of these other games and just having a really good time talking. So if you enjoy hearing uh, the, the tones of my voice <laughs> and you wanna hear more of it, well, you can get Skyrim or Red Dead every single day. Those are alternating days every day of the year. And I'm looking forward to getting into Elder Scrolls, uh, especially Elder Scrolls and getting into sort of the, the end game sort of content on that. It's a lot of fun. Sports. Um, I uh, I have a sports channel. That's my third channel, my brand new channel, which uh, about four people know about. <laughs> and um, I, I'm a big sports fan. And I want to do some things. I want to do some things where I'm playing with some friends and hopefully that will happen. I know I've, I've talked to uh, two different people about maybe playing some rounds of golf together, which will be a lot of fun. If you have PGA 2K21 and you are a channel friend, hit me up. We can play a round together, maybe video or maybe just for fun or whatever. But yeah, it'd be, it'd be a really good time. That's, that's alternating right now, every other day, PGA golf. It's very relaxing and chill. And, and the rounds are only about 12 minutes because I play the front nine in one video and then the back nine in the next video. And it's just fun. Even if you're not a golf fan, the game is a beautiful, immersive game. And it's just really fun to just like take a deep breath and just play some relaxed golf. It's not go, 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 go like the Minecraft or even the Elder Scrolls and Red Dead is. It's so chill. That's going to be alternating with RBI Baseball. Um, on alternating days whenever that comes out that's coming out mid-march so um and again those things are, are done in real time so those don't take a lot of like my my grind time away from from minecraft but i think that i think that that's kind of what i need to continue to do to, to be refreshed you know where a lot of people do a lot of people do a lot of hours on live stream i don't kind of a lot of hours to do on live stream but that's sort of my chance to do that and i think it's a lot of fun and hopefully you will as well so I have no focus on channel growth on the off the record or the sports channel. Those are just for fun. I, uh, you know, if they grow, that's cool. If they don't, that's also cool because they're just there for fun. But if you want to come out and hang out with me, I would sure love it. I want to say a special thank you to my uh, patrons and YouTube members. You folks have stuck with this channel for so long now. Some of you have been members for literally years. Brienne the Girl in particular, I think, is about to get her golden F, which is a two-year mark. That's unbelievable from being a YouTube member for that long. I, I cannot express to you how much it means to me. You know, you you guys have allowed Vastin to be on a really nice um, server that allows us to play and build some awesome, epic, huge things with a nice render distance. You've allowed me to actually upgrade some of my uh, hardware uh, to pay for a little bit of art commission, all that kind of stuff. And as well as, um, as, as help me through this sort of unemployed pandemic COVID time, which has been not that much fun. It's not a great time to be a musician. It turns out during a global pandemic. So, so I really, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I know I put the end special thanks to in the end of every video, but I really, from my heart, I mean, so sincerely, I am so grateful for you and, and the help that you've given to me and my family over the last uh, couple of years. It's really, it's really been great. So I hope you're excited about the sort of singular focus on the channel. Um, I hope you're not too sad about some of the things that are ending, but I am sure that you understand what is going on and why. And who knows, maybe now that we're going to be over on Twitch, maybe we can do some modded modded days where we continue to feed the Beach Universe because I really do love it. Like, I love it. It's just, I think it's it's not influencing the channel all that well. So hopefully that this uh, this will kind of pick things back up. And we'll continue the the growth and um, and look forward to a really great 2021. Okay, I'll see you all next time. Special thanks again to my Patreon YouTube members. You guys mean the world to me. And everyone who spends time of their day clicking one of my videos, it just means everything. And I, I can't tell you how grateful I am. So here's to a great year. Wear a mask. Be safe. I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.